Hi, I'm Nick from Canaweld, coming at you from our office in Vaughan, Ontario today. Today we're going to be using the MIG Stick 202 and we're going to do some aluminum welding with this 150 amp spool gun. So I want to show this to you guys real quick, how you set it up, and then we're going to do some welding over there and you guys will be able to see how it turns out. So let me hold this up so you guys can see it. So this is how you take off the spool. You undo the tensioner and then you would pop this out. And it's basically like just loading up a MIG gun rail, except it's small. Once you have it in, let me, let me get out of the way here so you guys can see this. So, you undo this tensioner, flip this up, and out of the way, and you can see these are your rollers, like in a MIG gun drive. So this one's already sent through and it's ready to go. So we're gonna close it. We're gonna lock that down. Close this back again. Let's take a look. Got our tip. Not looking too bad. It's a little dirty from when I was practicing. I didn't have the gas on properly. But uh, now it's pretty much ready to go. So. With this spool gun, right here is where you're gonna control the wire feed speed. So we got some 1 8 inch aluminum plate today. So we're gonna be running on five, roughly right in the middle. Now what I want you guys to see is that this is our typical MIG welding machine, and it's a stick welding machine. But here we have the plug in for the spool gun, which is gonna take power away from the drive roll system in here, and it's gonna send it to the drive roll system inside the MIG machine. Or, sorry, inside the spool gun. But what's important to do is flip your machine around, nice and straight for you guys. So here's the drive roll system, which usually has the power. Now, hopefully, you guys can see up in here. There's a sticker and a rocker switch that says standard and spool gun. So we're going to flip that over to spool gun, and what that's going to do is, when I pull the trigger, nothing's going to happen down here because we got no wire in here. Instead, it's going to send the power to here. It's going to go through your torch and it's gonna control the rollers inside your spool gun instead. So now that we're switched over to spool gun, we can go ahead and flip this back. We're gonna run 100% argon with this, and I'm gonna do a little weld for you guys, and we're gonna see how it looks, okay? It's that simple, there's not much to these. Okay, so we got our spool gun ready to go. It's latched down, everything's good. This part on the back is tightened up. We have our machine switched over to spool gun mode. Uh, I was incorrect, this is a uh, quarter inch thick aluminum plate, not eighth of an inch thick. So we have our voltage, uh, about 55-60%, the same with our wire speed. Don't have to worry about the wire speed because that's controlled here, which is set at about 50%. So let's try to do a weld on this and let's see if it looks any good. Uh, I haven't done spool gun welding since, can't even remember. So let's see if we got it set up right and see what kind of a result we get. So I'm going to count to three, I'm going to blast off, I'm going to do this weld, and then we're going to zoom the camera in and we're going to take a look at it and see if I'm any good at this, okay? One, two, three. That didn't go too bad. This is going to be hot, hot, hot. It's got the best weld I've ever seen in my life, but it's definitely stuck together and it doesn't look too, too bad. Let me just get this into You guys can see too much of that. 
a little wonky in a few places especially on the end where I tacked it and I didn't have the gas quite right but it didn't turn out too too bad so thanks a lot for watching guys uh, remember when you're setting up these spool guns it's exactly like setting up your full-size MIG roll inside the machine you need to set your tension in here you need to have everything snug not overly snug you want everything nice and clean but otherwise, it's exactly the same system. As long as you flip over your machine to spool gun, you're gonna have the power that you need. Make sure you're running argon, and you can blast off on aluminum all day long if you got some heavy duty aluminum to do, and you don't feel like taking the time to tip weld it. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this today's video, if you found it helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're tech savvy, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to leave comments down below. And until I catch you guys next week, Stay safe out there and have a lot of fun.